in this video, I'm going to show you how to create custom links and link groups that you can add to your navbar to really customize the look and feel of your course. To get started, then what we're going to do is come into edit course. And from here, we're going to choose and select navigation and themes. And You'll notice we were in this menu before in a previous video when we made our nav bar. If you haven't watched that one yet, make sure you go back and check that out. But this is our demo nav bar that we made in that video. So from here, what we're going to do is go over to the tab that says custom links. And this is where we're going to create our custom links. There are two types you can create. You can create just a link. So that's a single link to a resource or you can create a link group. So you can group a bunch of them together so they open up in those pop-up windows like some of the default ones do. Let's start with create links. So I'm gonna click on this and this is great for linking out to custom resources. So maybe I wanna include just a way for students to be able to do a Google search. So I'm just gonna come in here and type in HTTPS google.com. In terms of behavior, if it's an external source, a good practice is to have it open in a new window or tab. If you're linking to something within your resource in, in your course shell, which you can do here by inserting a quick link, then you would want it to open up in the same window. So just make sure you pick which one, depending on if you're linking to something external or something internal within your Brightspace course shell. I do like to give it a description. So I'm just going to call this a Google search custom. And that just makes it a little bit easier to find later. And I'll show you where to find that as we go through. And then you can create an icon. So this is really neat. And there's lots of different ways you can create icons for your course. One way that I really, really love to do this is with a tool called Canva. And the reason I say that is because if you come into Canva and you search for icon, a really nice sort of um, layout is this iOS icon. It gives you a nice little square, lots to choose from in here. You can customize them so you can really get a nice custom look and feel. And I really like this one here with the different sort of bear heads that you can customize, but totally up to you what you wanna do. And really anything that you create doesn't matter, but you can drag the file there and upload it as your custom icon. I just have a Bitmoji. I'm gonna just throw that in there just for sake of simplicity. You can also limit the availability. So you can limit it to specific roles. So if it's only a resource for you, you can limit it to just teachers if you want if you don't want your students to be able to click on it, so maybe it's something just for you, then that's totally possible and you can do that. But I'm gonna leave that as the default settings and click on save. And so that's how you create a custom link. To create a link group, very similar, but you're gonna cl click on the create link group button instead. And we're gonna give it a name. So let's call this R. ABC resources, just so I can find it really easily at the beginning of our group. You can also give this an icon. So I've got a little apple here that I'm just going to drag and drop on there to upload it. And then description, I'm just going to say custom resources for our class, just to make it easy again to find it. And then within a link group, you can either add system links so these are already existing links that are in the system that you can add, or you can create individual links here, which is the exact same process as what we just did. For sake of simplicity though, let's just add some existing links. I'm gonna come in here. I'm gonna just maybe pick the attendance, the awards, the blog, and maybe the calendar tool, okay? You can add as many as you want totally up to you. It's going to depend on how you want to lay that out. When you're done, you're going to click add. And then from here, if you want to rearrange these, so say I want the calendar at the top, I can just drag and drop it up to the top. Maybe I want the blog next. 
maybe I want the awards next and attendance last. So totally up to you again how you do that. When you are done though, you're gonna click on save. That is then how you create a custom link group as well as a custom link. Now to add them to your nav bar, if we come back over to the nav bars, we're gonna scroll down to our active nav bar and click on it. And then this is the exact same as what we had before. So we're gonna go in and add our links. And an easy way to find your custom links is to create on the custom links. And then you can scroll and search and here's our Google one and here's the description below. So it does help you to find your stuff if you give it a really good name and it'll help make sense of that. So I'm gonna add that one. And then I'm also going to come back in here and search by custom groups. And you can see my AB re ABC resources up at the top here. I'm gonna click on that one and add that as well. When I'm done, I can drag and drop these. So maybe I want these to come up there and there. It doesn't really matter, but I'm gonna go save and close. And that's going to then apply now to my navigation bar up the top here. So if you click on the ABC resources, remember this was a link group. So you've got your different link groups in here. And then the Google link, I click on it. It's just gonna open up a new window for me with a Google search. So that's how you add and create those custom links and custom link groups. If you ever want to come in and edit them, you can just go back to your custom links, find the link that you're looking for, click on the drop down arrow beside it, actually just click on it itself, and then you edit it within the window here. So that's for the link group. And then if we scroll down just to find, our Google one, if we click on it, you can come in here and edit in here as well. Okay, so that's how you create them, how you add them, how you edit them. Go give it a try. Think about what you want to add in terms of your navigation and customize it and see what you come up with. Good luck.